Hello guys, happy Yagami with the review of Rain, episode 14, titled Dirty Laundry. Woo! And boy, was it good! Like, that was like, for me, so far, the best episode of Rain I have seen. The best episode for me. That was my favorite episode. This is officially my favorite episode. Dirty Laundry is officially my favorite episode. Okay, so what happens in this episode is... Um, Mary and Francis return to court after their two months honeymoon. So we know it's been two months so far since they got married. Alright. So also arriving is um when they come return is the Archduke Fernand of Bohemia. He is visiting. Henry is also is me and Henry is having an affair with the Archduke's sister. And while they're having sex, right, they in his room having sex, you know, they buy the window. He goes to thrust up. She falls out the window. My thing was, why would you have sex near the window? <laughs> I'm just saying, the window open. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, you got a perfectly good bed, your highness. You can't have sex with the girl on the bed. Y'all trying to be freaky. And they killed her. So, obviously, having sex with King Henry will it result in death. I'm just going to let you girls know. <laughs> so, he's freaking out. So, he goes to his wife for help. Which is hilarious. The, the whole, this whole thing between Henry and Catherine trying to cover up this body is hilarious. It's hilarious. Because it's like, because we all know King Henry sleeps around. We all just seen him sleep around. He got, you know, the, the uh, his official mistress, his Kenna, there's the art, you know, we know he's sleeping around and Catherine knows he's sleeping around. She, he, we already know he ain't visit her bedchamber in a while. But he, that's who he goes to for help because he, because he knows that she obviously has a thing for this. So he goes to her for help. So they help. They start cleaning up the blood. They roll the body up because they now they got to look, make it look like she killed herself. So they got to, you know, throw her body out her own, out her own room, right? So this is just hilarious. I'm like, there's nothing that can bring two royal people together than covering up a dead body. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> like, like, seriously, I was like... This should bring them a little bit closer. Maybe not to the point where they in love, but close enough. You know what I'm saying? Nothing can bring you closer like this. Don't you just love royals? Royals. Okay. So, meanwhile, Bash is hunting in the woods when he meets Rowan and her brother who lived there. They come across Olivia who is traumatized and has mysterious bite marks on her own. Um, Bash takes Olivia to Notre Dame, and while under the throes of a nightmare, she stabs and kills a priest. Because he was talking about, child, let me exercise these demons from out you, and then she stabs him. I'm like, well, it looks like the demons didn't, didn't like the priest being there, so you got that. So, mm. so while Bash is back at court, he visits Mary to tell him of his suspicions that Francis had tried to have him killed. Mary, of course, you know, she came back from her honeymoon. She all in lovely bliss. Saying stuff, you know, what it bliss. She's like, no, Francis, why do that? You're his brother. And Frank Bash is like, I'm, he does not think of me a brother. And if he tries to kill me again, I will pretty much say I will not hesitate to kill Francis. That's it. See, I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. Brother against brother. Royal battle. Okay. Okay. So when Mary goes to ask Francis, you know, did you try to kill, Frank, uh, you know, Bash? Francis denies denies this when Mary asks, and he said, and he put up he and Francis are hurt that you would believe Bash over me, your husband, Francis. Mm. Don't be acting all high and mighty. You got secrets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I hate when that happens, especially when a person try to act all high and mighty about something, but you know they got a secret and they trying to be all up at it. It's like, please, man. please, Francis, please. Okay. So Lola thinks she's pregnant with Francis' child because she because she's because she's getting a little bit sick. She's not really hungry, but she's been feeling a little sick. So Kenna, when she goes to tell Kenna, Kenna's like, "Oh my God, Kenna! What Kenna does is hilarious." She congratulates Lola on getting pregnant. She's like, "Yes, you secured your place as as his mistress." I wish I would have thought it. I'm like, "Really, Kenna? <laughs> really? <laughs> really?" I'm like, what is this what Kenna tells Lola? It's hilarious. But technically, with Lola being pregnant with a child, that would make that would put her in the position of being his official mistress because he doesn't have one. Because we all because we all know that royals can have an official mistress. The king queen can't have nothing, but the king can't. 
But Lola doesn't want, you know, married to know that I just slept with Francis and now I'm pregnant. So then Kim's like, well, if you ain't want a baby, then don't do the do. <laughs> Which was pretty much simple. Because not like, I'm not sure if they had condos back then. But that, that was pretty much a surefire way back then to make sure you did not get pregnant. Don't have sex. Don't have sex. And not only is Lola worried about, you know, hurting her best friend. Because she was slut with the dude she loved with, even though Mary was technically kissing her all up on bad. So technically, she had no right to be angry. Because you and Francis were no longer together. And you was kissing on bad. So you didn't look that worried when you was all up in Bash's mouth. Okay, you you didn't look that too much worried about Francis. But then that's the whole girl code thing. You're not supposed to date the ex or something like that. You know, it's a whole girl code, guy code thing, you know. So, well, that would be, that would also fall on bad, too, if Francis, when Francis get mad, mad at Bash. Because technically, that's Francis' ex, and Bash is all up in his, on all time I was. So technically, they broke the girl, girl, guy code thing, you know, not dating the ex thing. So they both had fault. Okay. Yeah, that was saying, Lola's not only worried about, you know, hurting Mary's feelings, but also, she's going to bring shame to her family, because one, she's no longer a virgin, so no man is going to marry her, because a woman had to be a virgin, because, a virgin to be married, because obviously... It's not like they had Maury back then. It's not like they had DNA testing to, to, to make sure that this, the child that she had, especially if it was a boy, was his. So, obviously, this is why they, they had ensured a woman was a virgin on her wedding day. If she wasn't, then how am I supposed to know that your children, that you had had is actually mine? You know? So, she decides to go get an abortion. Mary learns about this, and along with her and Bash, they had to go stop getting Mary, um, Lola from abortion that could pretty much kill her. Because they, sh they showed you the tools. Those tools looked at rusty. I'm like, um, I know y'all got no alcohol or nothing, but you can at least put, pour some liquor on there. Because, I mean, they ain't have alcohol. We got alcohol today. But, I mean, we seen them pour liquor on stuff. I'm like, pour some liquor on there. Pour some liquor on there. That's straight up alcohol. Put some gin on there. Whatever y'all had back then. I think it was gin they had or whiskey, whatever. Pour it on there. Clean it in the river with some salt water or something. I'm like, dang, no wonder people is dying. You got rusty tools. And then it don't look like the place you having it in is very clean and very, you know, hygienic. I'm like, no wonder these women is dying from an abortion. Like, really? Really? I mean, I know they don't got all sophistication and stuff, but simple thing. Like, you know, make sure the sheets is clean. Make sure there's nothing dirty, you no know, hay or whatnot around the woman while you about to cut, you know, by the rip a baby from her womb, which might result in bleeding. And not only that, make sure your tools is clean. Like, come on, and make sure your hands is washed. It's like simple stuff. It could have did to prevent these women from, during that time frame from dying and during an abortion. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You know, maybe they wouldn't also have the plague neither. I'm just saying. So... <clears throat> when Mary gets there, she don't tell Lola, it's okay, you know, who supports your stuff. And Lola's like, oh, Mary, if you only knew the truth. And she's like, what? Then, then, then it clicks in Mary's mind when you return. Francis, is this, is, is this child my husband? And Lola's like, yes. Now, I'm not saying the word yes, but, you know, cry to say and, and Mary had that, oh, my God, on her face, that face, like that, oh, my God face. So, obviously, she's upset. <laughs> So, despite being heartbroken, Mary agrees to keep her pregnancy a secret from Francis, you know, so, you know, Lola doesn't know. Mm. And Mary tells Bash to stop caring for her, but Bash refuses. Bash goes to Rowan, who convinces him to stay in France, and they kiss. Mm -mm -mm. I told you Mary was going to find out in the next episode. Oh, come on, come on. It's an episode called Dirty Laundry. Obviously, we got some dirty laundry that needs to be exposed. So that's what happens in that episode. But I'm pretty sure Francis is going to find out that, you know, Lola is pregnant. Because obviously she's not going to have an abortion. But I'm like, her belly still going to get big. I don't, and the dress that y'all wear ain't going to cover that. It ain't going to cover a pregnancy. I'm sorry. I don't care how big you make the dress. So what you going to say? If you make the dress get big, you going to say the girl fat with it? She's going to expose. Francis is going to eventually find out. Because I'm sorry. Servants in every... I don't care how rich you is, the servants, servants in any rich household will know everything. They know everybody's dirty secrets. That's why I love, that's why I love the thing about servants. Servants know everything. A servant will know if a queen was cheating on her husband, or know who the king was sleeping with. They know such, they know all your business. Maid, servants, but they know everybody's business. That's probably why we know about all the stuff that happened in, um, in, in those times. Because obviously these people ain't going to keep records. Well, I slept with the Archduchess, Duchess of 
Walsh today. She was a good ride. Obviously, the kings and queens ain't gonna write about their affairs, but I'm pretty sure we know about it from the servants that pass it down. You know, as gossip. You know, because they probably be in the kitchen be like, mm, Did you know King Henry was sleeping with the Archduchess of England today? Really? Well, last week, he was sleeping with the Archduchess of Scotland. Oh, I can't believe him. You know, they probably talk about it. It's gossip for them. You know, they need something to talk about. So, anyway, that's episode of Rain, Dirty Laundry. This Thursday is titled The Darkness. So, we'll see what that's about because we got to go into what the heck is wrong with Olivia and why the heck she got these bite marks on it. It's, so, I'm guessing it has something to do with the pagans that we never fr- that we never physically see. We just hear them chanting and these weird horns they keep posting up. So, I'm guessing we're going to go more back more into the pagan plotline of this series. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.